دكتور مناب كريم مهدي القاسم جرين يونيفرستي بابلون وكوجنيتيف ستايلستيك بيرسبكتيف اوف امام علي سكوميت سابليكيشن ماي بيبر از انتايتلد اي كوجنيتيف ستايلستيك بيرسبكتيف اوف امام علي سكوميت سابليكيشن Now, um, recently, the uh, cognitive uh, science uh, has revolutionized, uh, revolutionized different research areas, and uh, it has impacted science and literature. And uh, this revolu revolution has resulted in different uh, and disciplinary, uh, interdisciplinary research areas One of them is uh, cognitive stylistics. Now, uh, cognitive stylistics uh, is broadly defined as the cognitive study of style. Uh, this type of research area uh, endeavors to scrutinize texts through um, examining the application of cognitive theories uh, and cognitive linguistics to enhance the understanding and interpretation of texts. The current research paper sets itself the task of answering the following question. What kind of cognitive stylistic features are implemented in Imam Ali's Kumail's publication? Uh, and how cognitive stylistic concepts uh, enhance the interpretation of this kind of texts? As such, The paper aims at identifying the cognitive stylistic features implemented in uh, Imam Ali's Kumail supplication by uh, uh, adopting the threefold model of Jeffries and McIntyre 2010, encompassing schema theory, cognitive metaphors, as well as conceptual, uh, contextual frames theory. First of all, we have to, to say something about supplication. If we want to define supplication, we can say that it is the act of entreating the uh, divine being for the pardon of guilt and the liberation from sense bondage. Linguistically speaking, to supplicate means to uh, ask in a very, or, or to beg in a very humble, uh, humble manner, uh, usually from a, a superior or someone In power. Concerning Imam Ali's Kumail supplication, we can say that it is one of the, uh, uh, or it is the best supplication, as uh, said by Al Alam Al Majlisi. Uh, it is distinguished by its extreme humility, uh, acceptance of a human weakness, and unwavering faith in divine mercy. Concerning the uh, cogn uh, cognitive stylistic analysis of uh, Kumail's supplication, we said that we have um, analyzed uh, this supplication according to uh, cognitive metaphor theory, schema theory, and contextual frames theory. First of all, we have cognitive metaphors. Uh, now, uh, within this uh, theory, uh, we have abstract concepts that are often uh, understood through metaphorical mappings to more concrete concepts. So we have uh, uh, something abstract that is likened to something uh, concrete. Uh, in Dua Kumail, uh, we have uh, metaphors of power uh, related to Almighty Allah. Uh, and we have metaphors of weakness related to human beings. Uh, an example we have وَبِجَبَرُوتِكَ أَلَّتِي غَلَبْتَ بِهَا كُلَّ شَيْءٍ وَبِعَزَّتِكَ أَلَّتِي لَا يَقُومُ لَهَا شَيْءٍ وَبِعَظَمَتِكَ أَلَّتِي مَلَأَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ So we have abstract concepts that are likened or explained by more concrete concepts. So we have عظمتك uh, which is something abstract link, uh, likened or linked to something more concrete like ملأت بها كل شيء and we have also metaphors cognitive metaphors of uh, forgiveness and sin uh, like for example when uh, the imam says اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تهتك العصام uh, 
اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تنزل النقم اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تغير النعم اللهم اغفر لي الذنوب التي تحبس الدعاء so as we can see something uh, that is abstract is uh, described or explained or referred to by something more concrete so we have guilt uh, we have ذنوب that uh, and then uh, these uh, guilts are uh, described as تحبس الدعاء as if they are something concrete and there are so many other examples uh, let us say something about a schema theory the uh, supplication implements a schema theory uh, schema theory implies or uh, uh, depends on, on mental models or structures that aid in the organization and interpretation of texts. Uh, and uh, the supplication makes you use of well-known theological frameworks of schemas. We have a mental model that is completely suitable for a supplication or a prayer in uh, religious discourse. Now, we have examples of schemas, like, for example, a schema uh, for uh, hell and heaven. Uh, for example, we have um, descriptions of hell, like with the triggers, linguistic triggers like annar, yuhriqahu uh, lahibaha, zafiraha, zabaniyataha, and the like. Other examples of schemas, we have uh, the imam saying, Allahumma inni as'aluka, so we should have a background knowledge of someone who is in a true poverty asking for money or asking for food in order to interpret and uh, understand this uh, phrase. Uh, or when the imam says, buka al So we, have, we should have a schema or mental model for someone who lost um, a dear person uh, and is uh, crying. So these are examples of schemas implemented in the supplication. Uh, finally, we have contextual frames. Now, within this theory, we have uh, the, um, uh, the notion that a word or a phrase, a phrase's meaning is uh, uh, dependent on the context in which it is used, and we can never understand its full meaning or implicit meaning without knowing the uh, uh, context or the environment in which this uh, phrase is said. Now, uh, the supplication implements the language and cultural conventions that are uh, uh, familiar to uh, religious discourse and that are well known to the target audience. To sum up, um, cognit cognitive stylistic analysis of Imam Ali's Kumail supplication has revealed that uh, cognitive uh, devices uh, and cognitive theories like metaphor, cognitive metaphor schema, and contextual uh, frames uh, are usefully utilized in religious discourse in general and in Imam uh, Ali's uh, supplication, Kumail supplication in a specific. More precisely, the hypothesis set at the beginning of the work, which reads cognitive metaphors are the uh, most prevalent cognitive stylistic uh, element implemented in Dua Kumail supplication, Afwan in Kumail supplication, has been validated. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, much Dr. Manar, for uh, such a presentation. Actually, Dua Kumail is going to be full of many teachings and uh, uh, attractions that are going to be beneficial for the Muslims. And thanks for such presentation.